What's going on guys, it's John from Random Chivos again, and today we're going to be taking a look at the location of the Squalo X7 speeder boat. This thing looks like it's something straight out of Star Wars, it's absolutely amazing. But the hard part is not finding it, but actually getting it to the uh, garage so you can claim it for the achievement, or so you can rebel drop it whenever you like. Now before I show you the location, there are actually a few things we need to take care of so we can bring this vehicle to the garage once we get there. First, you need to make sure that you have the tether strength 2 and the 4 tethers unlocked at least. If you have the 3rd strength and the 6 tethers, you're well off and you'll definitely have no problem getting this vehicle back to where you need. To unlock these mods to get this boat, you need to compete in the Bavarium challenges, at least two of them, no matter what, to at least get the tether strength too. And if you 5 star both of them, you can also get the uh, 6 tethers, which will make this a lot easier to get. So go check out those out, go search around the provinces and you will find them. You must liberate a few cities to get them. And once you've done that, come back to the video and we'll continue on with the location. Now this next part isn't required, but it is highly encouraged because this is the closest place you can bring the boat after you have gotten it out of the lake. It's located in the southeast border of the largest island in a little town called Perla East in the province of Costa Sud. And just liberate this city and you'll gain access to the garage and you'll be one step closer to getting the boat. This next part is for those that don't have a larger, more powerful helicopter unlocked, specifically the Ergra Hrom D. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, on the statistics, it had the most power out of any helicopter, so I figured it would be best for towing this vehicle. Um, you can locate it in the Umbra region, province, whatever it is. It's like a little military base. You'll notice a whole bunch of jets here. If it doesn't show up, just fast travel away or fly away real quick and come back. It kind of, it's random how they respawn. Sometimes you'll have nothing. Sometimes you'll have everything. But uh, once you have that chopper, you're good to go, and we can actually go find the boat now. So just north of that military base I showed you, you'll actually find a private island. And this is where you'll actually find the boat, and it's going to be located next to the ruins, almost shaped like an octagon. So what I found easiest is to go hover above the vehicle, and then you can get out by pressing A, and the vehicle will stay in place, and you can actually tether the wires directly to the boat from there, underneath the helicopter. Um, try to spread them out a little bit, make it a little bit even, you know, balance the weight out like you would in real life because there are a lot of physics in this game. Now, like I said, I use six here because I was having so many issues with the cable snapping, but I have a way of maybe preventing that from happening. You can do this with four, but I would recommend six if you can possibly unlock that. So once you're all hooked up, get back in the vehicle by pressing Y and slowly lift up. You're going to have to be very careful with how you rise in the vehicle or descend and when you're pushing forward or going backwards because the weight of this boat will take you down even in this helicopter. So once you've gotten the boat in the air, just make sure you get the elevation high enough to get over the trees when you're heading towards the ocean and just stay at this elevation until you finally get above the water. You don't want to try to descend and push forward at the same time because the boat always becomes top heavy and then flips out, breaks, takes you down, whatever, and then you got to restart this all over again. So just slowly push forward and eventually you will get over the ocean and once you do, just descend and that's it. Don't push forward or push backwards while you're doing so. And then finally when you get down to the water, just release the tether and you're good to go and the hard part is over. So that's basically it. You have the boat now and all you must do is bring it to the garage of the city that I had told you at the beginning of the video and it will count towards your achievement and that's one less you have to deal with. So I just want to say thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you sticking through this. This was a challenging vehicle to get and I hope it works out for you. If you have any questions about it, just please leave me a comment below and I will try my best to answer you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. So have a wonderful day guys and take care.